Look out for a bigger focus on first-party exclusives in the future from Microsoft. Xbox head Phil Spencer has explained that while he wants to maintain the company's strong third-party relations, he's hoping to bolster the first-party department. He told Chinese website GameCores, my strategy is more around our own first-party franchises and investing in franchises that we own and probably fewer deals for exclusive third-party content. I want to have strong third-party relations, but paying for many third-party exclusives isn't our long-term strategy. This is what I like to hear. More cool first-party games instead of stuff like DLC exclusivity, which let's be honest, just kind of sucks. Could a Final Fantasy XII remaster be on the way? Well, Final Fantasy Distant Worlds conductor Arnie Roth mentioned a remake of the classic PlayStation 2 RPG over the weekend at a Pittsburgh concert but he's since clarified his remarks. In a new statement, Ross said, following conversations with composer Hitoshi Sakimoto regarding new concert arrangements of music from Final Fantasy XII, regrettably, the term remake was used in error during one of the announcements that took place from the stage during the concert. We sincerely regret any confusion this has caused. Notice, though, that Roth didn't deny a possible Final Fantasy XII remaster, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Speaking of remakes, Capcom is apparently looking into revisiting Resident Evil 2. Producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi announced his intentions for a new Resident Evil 2 project on the official Facebook page for the survival horror series. He said right after the Resident Evil HD remaster project was finished, I actually started putting together my ideas for this RE2 project. So I just brushed it up and went to see my boss to present the basic concept of the project already. Okay, Capcom, if we're exploring a Resident Evil 2 remaster, let's give it the same remake treatment that the original got on the GameCube. Deal? Deal. Now, talk about Colossum. Vega is returning to Street Fighter V. That's right, the Mast series mainstay is back for a new look and tricks. Along with rocking a pirate shirt, Vega can now fight with or without his claw. And switching back and forth with a claw opens up new combo possibilities for players. Very nice. All this makes you wonder though, who wears the hand weapon better? Vega with his claw, Ezio with his hidden blade, or Shepard with the Omni tool? Sound off in the comments below. Filed under the yikes department, a new report paints a pretty ugly picture at Konami saying employee morale is at an all time low. The Nikkei story, translated by Freelance Games localizer Thomas James, claims Konami has spent over $80 million on the development of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, which might be linked to the Hideo Kojima split, canceled development on the Love Plus and Suikoden series, and even reassigned some staffers to other jobs, like cleaning up the company's fitness clubs. So supposedly, one day you could be a game producer, and then the next year a janitor. It's pretty messed up. If true, I'd probably just grab a box and sneak on out of that office. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to reacquaint myself with Rash, Zitz, and Pimple. Yep, that'll make more sense in a moment. So here's everything we're excited about that's out this week. Check out 30 classic games with Rare Replay on Xbox One. That means we get to revisit Battletoads, Blast Corps, RC, Pro-Am, Banjo-Kazooie, Perfect Dark, and more. Holy crap, this collection is freaking rad. Nintendo is reeling out a big new Splatoon update, which introduces two new matchmaking modes, additional weapons, and even a level cap increase to the colorful shooter. It looks pretty off the hook, so be sure to attract yourself to this free update. Really? Are you ready to spend the rest of your summer sketching maps? Well, Atlas is bringing more RPG goodness to the Nintendo 3DS with Etrian Odyssey Untold 2, The Fafnir Knight. Platforming sequel Spider Right of the Shrouded Moon is on the way for PC and iOS featuring 30 levels and real-time weather. That means if it's raining at your house, it'll pour in the game too. Pretty cool, huh? You know, except for the whole spider business. That's just kind of freaky. Last but not least, the castle game is a tower defense game coming to PS4. Now this may shock you, but you have a castle in the game and must defend it from the evil armies. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy twist. And that's your daily fix for August 3rd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.